We're back here this morning. I'm gonna try to clean some of this up. Next to this shop, uh, Dad, he's here in his truck. We're digging out uh, in the front that last like 15 feet or whatever we didn't dig out when we did the parking in front of there. We're digging that out now and then we can set those downspouts and then fill that up with rock. So he was gonna, we're gonna run his and dig that out because we gotta take it, I don't know, it's about 10 or 15 minutes from here. And while he's gone doing that, I'm gonna load my truck up and try to clean up the east side of this building and dump it around my pad kind of get the rough grade going around there and plus get it where they can tailgate a concrete truck around there a little easier. I figure this way I can stay here and pretty much load and move and then kind of keep an eye when he gets back instead of we were going to load both the trucks and haul it over there and this and that but with him doing that, me moving this, by the time we get done digging the front out, he can jump in his loader and be knocking this stuff down. I can finish hauling and moving some more of these piles and then jump on the roller and kind of compact some of it. I'm trying to get a little more stuff where he's not always stuck running his truck and he can get in his loader and do a little grading for me. So we got plenty of uh, piles on this property that I need to kind of just load up and move around and we can waste a lot of it around that pad. Because some of this stuff isn't great but it's going to be perfect for backfilling around that because I'm not going to try to build on it but it'll help kind of shake the yard down the road and then uh, oh, all the stuff we dug out where the pad was at it's pretty decent topsoil so we'll use it last thing to put around the house. And then sometime this week, I'll probably try to dig the footings. I think they're, the builder told me they're laying out or they changed something with the dining room. It's still under the same roof dimensions, but there's probably another uh, wall or a footing one I have to dig. I want to concentrate on getting those front downspouts done, but I need to dig all that junk out. As you can tell, which some of it's got it in here, that clay is still wet. So it's definitely not good to build a building on, but if you need a pond line, that is the stuff to use.
product. We are loading out this, I don't know, stockpile of dirt, or I guess you can call it dirt, that uh, these guys left here. And I'm just dumping it around the slab. I got Dad over there in his loader, kind of tapering everything out so uh, it doesn't look like that pad's way out of the ground. And then it's going to be a lot easier for the concrete guys to actually pour it. So I'll be able to back the truck around instead of having it drop off. So. Trying to get Dad a little more to work with his loader instead of just him running the dump truck all the time. So I can just run my excavator and the peat and take the dirt over there to him and he can keep knocking it down. So I got everything in front of the shop dug out uh, and hauled off. I think it was six loads of that junk. It's right at 100 or 101 degrees today. It's supposed to be like between 100 and 105 every day for the next, I think, two weeks as far as my phone there, or 10 days. So we're going to wait till the morning time to uh, saw cut the footing and jackhammer out the five places we need to. There'll be five downspouts on the front instead of four. But we'll do that first thing in the morning when it's uh, not quite as hot. We're just going to kind of run the machines today and get some of this dirt moved. And I'm going to try to get the footings dug on that house in the next day or two. So that way I can stay a little bit ahead of the concrete guys have that done. We'll, to, we'll take all the clay that we dig out of the footings and move it to where the driveway is going to be for the garage or out of the garage instead of just hauling in a bunch more clay we can take all that that we dig out because there should be a fair amount. I think we're going to have to dig down uh, 24 inches. We'll probably do about 18 inches wide and that is a big house so there's a couple of covered porches that will have to dig footings. So we'll have a few uh, dump truck loads of clay. We'll just kind of keep dumping in that driveway and it'll get less and less as we work our way out. Well, we'll go dump this over there, but that's just kind of a quick little update on the job site. At the end of the day, got the squad all lined up, got it greased. Uh, I'll run over here first thing in the morning with my pickup and my fuel tank and fill everything up. So hopefully 90 gallons will do it. We didn't, I think my little excavator is still full. My loader's half full, but the 2150 will need it. Dad's eight and then the uh, rollers maybe halfway. So we'll get that done first thing in the morning. That's why I got them all lined up. The fuel doors are all on the same side. I got all that dirt pile moved and everything on the east side of the building. I think it was 27 loads. So we're gonna have to do a little more shaping. We're kind of trying to get it now where when they come pour the footing and I dig it, they can at least get a concrete truck around there. I think I'm gonna have the property owner or the homeowner. He's got a diamond mower as well and a 331G uh, John Deere loader to kind of mow some of that brush because he I think the fence is probably 15 18 feet over so it's a little close to the property line but if they can mow that back that should give them room and then we can kind of reshape a little more of this because it's this is a side it's like three or three and a half feet high out of the ground so we really need to like taper this stuff out where it doesn't just look like it's built up on a hill but I also need it where I can kind of back a concrete truck 
uh, around there with that dirt in the way those trees and the power line they're gonna have to come from this way to get that corner and kind of tailgate it out from there so we have a little more shaping and stuff to do and then this is gonna be you know, there's a three-car garage right in here so I need to get that old junky clay out of the way and then I actually need to get some better clay because my footings right on the edge of that so I kind of start filling that in you can tell where I've kind of benched it out and rolled it in so a little uh probably first thing in the morning because it's supposed to be another hundred and some odd degree day we'll saw cut and jackhammer the footings and try to kind of concentrate on the downspouts Maybe just try to get all them in and get the rock back in there. Then as when the heat of the day is in here, we'll work on staining the machines and uh, moving this stuff and moving some more dirt around. Cause he's got another big, probably 20 or 30 load pile of dirt on the other side of those trees. Uh, there's one on the other side of all my screenings. And then I think there's a couple small ones back in the back. And then we got all that dirt too. So we got plenty of material. We just got to get it moved around.